everyone, Jess here from the Kidaholics Kits design team and today I am creating a layout using the October kit which is mostly centered around the Coco Vanilla Studios Unforgettable collection. I really really love Coco Vanilla Studios, this is probably one of my favorite companies ever so I found it quite easy to get started and get going with this collection. Now I jumped into the Silhouette Design Studio and created myself this little title using the word function and the offset function in there and I chose to write the words I want to grow old with you. And the reason I focused that as my title is because at our wedding my gorgeous husband who has no musical bones in his body, he can't sing, he can't play instruments, he can't do anything, surprised me by getting a ukulele and singing this song to me at our reception. Now, he did sing along to the Adam Sandler version, so he, there was quite a bit of Adam Sandler, and only a little bit of my husband, but the actual sentiment and the surprise of it all was just amazing. And so then when this whole craze hit of um, face, face tuning or whatever it's called, using that filter to age ourselves, um, I made these two photographs of my husband and myself and I think we look hilarious. Hopefully we do look this great when we're old because I think we look quite um, quite good really. We've aged quite well. And I thought that would be a really fun way to tie those old photos in um, with, you know, the sentimental saying of I want to grow up with you. So whole backstory there. Well, meanwhile, I've been busily doing things away on my page and not explaining anything to you. So I better get back to it. So you'll notice that I snuck, um, I've done heaps of things actually when you've, when I've been chatting away. So I've backed my photographs in white and in that gorgeous, um, sort of watercolor blue. I backed the whole cut file using nearly, nearly every single paper from the collection because it's just gorgeous. And then I fell in love with that wood grain paper and I had to use it. And I almost stuck the entire thing on that wood grain paper, but it was a little bit flat and it got a little bit lost. Um, so I really wanted something in the background. And to s I didn't want to cut into another piece of paper yet. Uh, I don't, hadn't had enough of a play with, with all of my papers and I had this perfect square piece already left over from the Midnight Collection still by Coco Vanilla Studios and it's called Sophisticated, that piece of paper. So I've snuck that on my page. So I do apologise, that is one little skerrick that is not actually from the October kit. Uh, but everything else so far is and... To be honest, this came together really, really easy. You'll notice that I've already sort of pulled out the things that I wanted to use because I'd already looked through the ephemera pack and there is so much in the ephemera pack that I really had to hold myself back. I felt that the cut file was really quite busy, but I didn't want to over embellish the page. Um, I really wanted to cover up the watermark on the bottom of the photos. So, um, my, on my photo, the watermark's been covered up by my husband's photo, but my husband's watermark is still right out there in front of everyone. And, and that's totally fine. It, you know, it is owned by the app, but just for the purpose of my scrapbooking and the beauty of the actual photos, I wanted to cover that up. So I knew I'd put a cluster down there. Uh, there was also a little tear in the cut file um, above the W of grow. So I knew I'd put a little cluster there. Uh, and then I threw on the other two clusters, which I was really loving. So that's four and I don't love even numbers. So then I wanted to put a fifth thing on. And the only place that seemed to sort of welcome something more was in that top corner. So once I'd done that, it was just super cruisy. It just sort of all flew together. I swear with this collection, you could just cover a page in glue, stand up and throw the ephemera on the page as if it was confetti and it would all fall and be beautiful and you could still just leave it where it was. It is so, so easy to work with. I just love it. Um, so once I work out this last little heart where I want to put him, then I'm going to do a few splatters of 
gold Heidi Shine. No, actually, I've forgotten something. I decided I wanted some little words. And I had have these really gorgeous thickers that came in the um, kit. But they didn't have the right feel for what I was going for with this layout. So I went and had a look through the rest of my kit. And just had a little play with these tassels because they're so awesome. I'm definitely getting those on somewhere. But not this layout. They just... Uh, I hadn't planned them in so there was no space that they actually fit they take up a little bit of room so I needed to rethink about where they were going so in the end I actually then cheat a little bit more and pull out this Heidi swap because I really want some of those gold tiny words that are at the bottom there and they are actually from June I think the June Kidaholics kit uh, when we got the um, wolf pack collection is where those are from um, so they just worked so perfectly though with the layout that uh, I was another bit cheeky and have snuck those on as well naughty naughty not sticking to my one kit but I I do do that I tend to have um, all my leftover things before I mix them in with the rest of my stash I hold on to them again and see if I can use them in the following kit or so on especially if there's quite a few I want to try and get a get at least get some of them happening um, so now I'm going to the gold Heidi shine thought I'd clean up my desk a little bit because there's nothing worse than accidentally splattering things you haven't used yet with gold Heidi shine because you really might not want gold on it next time and I was about to get going and then thought no I better cover my photos so I'm just grabbing some if you're from Australia some Woolworths seedling packets uh if you're not it doesn't matter it's just junk um to cover my photos so that I don't splatter onto my photos and I'm just doing a little bit of spritz is not very much at all uh, just a, literally just where those cluster, five clusters were. Uh, and they it blends in really well with the wood grain. You can almost not even see it in this video, but you will be able to see it in the close-ups. And it's just really subtle, and I really, really like um, how that gold looks on the page. Then I start going to town with my enamel dots. I love me some enamel dots. Uh, I haven't actually used enamel dots for quite a while. I've been using rhinestones, so it's quite nice to have enamel dots. And there's quite a large number of them. Sometimes some enamel dot packets are a bit stingy, but no, I'm really impressed with these. So just popping those down. And I like to do, for some reason today, two. One, a big one and a small one in any configuration. And I've mixed all the different colors. And then I am done. So I'm gonna pull it up closer to the screen for you to have a look at. Did I mention I did stitching? I don't think I did. I did stitching off screen because I can't do it on my computer, on my camera. So you can see around the edge of the white, I've done some stitching. And so I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Oh, I also distressed the edge of the white paper. I've not told you anything. Goodness, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this quick little video. Uh, this collection is just gorgeous, so I highly recommend jumping over to the Kidaholics kit shop and seeing if you can snag up one of these kits because they're divine. Uh, I'll link them down below and thanks everyone and I'll catch you next time.